Hey, hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to the tutelage.com. And today I will be sharing how to create this drag and drop user admin interface in jQuery and PHP. So guys, out here I have six different blocks. And uh, you know, one says a download items, one says recent members, one says recent posts, a user comments, site, site analytics, and a Google News. And you know, every time I can, you know, drag them and drop them wherever I want. So I want the user comments to be on the top. So I can drag it, I can save it here. It says changes have been saved. Okay. And if I'm going to refresh, you will notice the user comments is still on the top. So what we are doing is we are actually saving their current state. And every time a user will come back, we will be actually going to show them at, to the actual position where they need to be. And guys, if you believe that, you know, we need some kind of a magical stuff in order to do it, no guys. All we need is a jQuery UI citable widget. Okay, that's all we need. So I'm going to go to jQuery UI right now. And inside demos and documentation, you can find a citable. And you can check out the default functionality, how to work with it. Okay, and here is the view source that you can check out in order to see what actually they are doing. Or you can check out the source files I'm going to provide you. Uh, after this particular video guys very first I won't be creating it from scratch because I'm actually running short of time so I would be discussing everything line by line and very first let me show you the database I created in order to save the state of these six blocks I created on this particular page so here are the six blocks and here it shows the list number so I'm just gonna refresh it okay here it shows the site analytics on number six a user comments on number one and you know if I'm gonna drag the user comments on number two come back refresh here here it says the user comments are number two so every time we're gonna drag it we're gonna you know save their state to a database okay and as far as uh, as far as our files are concerned uh, we need only these two files one is an index.php that's the actual file out here and the next one is the uh, update.php that actually gonna update um, our records in the database every time we're gonna drag and drop any block. So guys, I'm gonna start line by line from this index.php file. Uh, very first, we have included a copy of jQuery and next we have included a copy of jQuery UI. If you want, you can download it and host them on your server, but for this particular demo, I just wanna keep it really simple so I have included it from the actual CDN library that's hosted on Google. The next thing is uh, I'm just you know making sure before we do anything we have the DOM ready for it. Okay guys and guys the next thing is I've created this hide response function. What this particular function will do is if you will come here and if you will notice I'm gonna drag it here it shows changes have been saved and after a few seconds that particular response have been hidden so that have been taken care of by this particular hide response function after every two seconds it gonna hide a dev with an ID of response then guys what I'm doing is I'm I'm running uh, the widget citable on my selected devs so uh, what which one I want to select has a class of sections okay then what I'm doing is every time I'm gonna you know put a cursor over it or every time I'm gonna try to drag it it's gonna reduce the opacity to 0.5 so if I'll come back see the opacity have been reduced to 0.5 and it's gonna you know put a cursor to move there so right now I have a default cursor and every time I'm gonna click it see my cursor have my cursor have been changed and every time we are updating it we are running uh, you know a callback function what that callback function will do is very first it will get the order for all of these items and it's gonna you know send an ajax request to this particular file update.php and you know it's gonna get the response from there and it's gonna you know show the response to a div called response okay that's quite calculating then uh, you know it's gonna you know slide down and it's gonna run a function to hide it uh, the one we created out here on the top then again you know we have some HTML semantic markup for this particular header and I have created a couple of devs to make sure that we have a nice interface to work with the demo and guys here I'm running a PHP query to select everything from the database and you know uh, put them out here on the index.php file 
Okay guys, that's all we need with this particular file and update.php file. What it's doing is it's getting everything in, you know, in a form of an array and out here I'm breaking that particular array and I'm updating it into the database. So guys, it's very simple with PHP as well as with jQuery. Apart from that, if you have any questions, uh, do not forget to leave comments on YouTube or on my personal blog. That's the tutelage.com. Apart from that, you can also download the demo files. You can play with them and you can brush up your skills. So I'm going to see you guys next time. Goodbye.